everyone. My name is Carly. I'm an after school instructor at Greenwich House Pottery. And since we can't be together at the pottery right now, I'm going to show you some crafts you can do together at home with some simple materials. The craft I'm going to show you today is how to make a book with one sheet of paper. So here's what the book looks like. And I made this with only one sheet of paper. Are you ready to get started? All we're going to use is a piece of paper, scissors, and our hands. Okay, to get started, we're going to do the hamburger fold three times. Some of you might know this, but hamburger fold is when you have the two short edges of your paper, they come to meet each other, just like this. So this is hamburger fold, and we're gonna need to do that three times. So the two short edges, they're coming to meet. I'm gonna hold it in place with one hand, and then to crease my fold, I like to take one finger and I press in the middle and then I push all the way up and pull all the way down. But if it's too difficult with just one finger, you can also use your whole hand. Okay, that was our first fold. Let's do it again. And so we have to turn our paper because we're using the two short edges and they're coming to meet. And I'm meeting my corners together, holding it down and I'm gonna press the center, push up, pull down. Okay, let's turn and do it one more time. The short edge is gonna meet the other short edge. Let's fold, meet our corners, hold it down, push the center and then go up and pull down. Okay, so this is where we're going to be so far and this is how our paper looks after doing three hamburger folds. Okay, the next step is we're gonna unfold just one time. So we're gonna unfold and our paper is gonna look like this. It's gonna have four rectangles. And one side is gonna be open like this and the other side is going to be the closed folded edge. So we wanna find the folded edge because we're going to be cutting this line right here, okay? So not the open edge, we need to cut from the closed folded edge here. And we're gonna take our scissor and we're gonna cut from the folded edge to where they intersect in the middle. Okay, and right here, we gotta stop right there. Okay, that's really important. We don't wanna cut all the way across or else our book will fall apart. Okay, so now we're ready for the next step. We're gonna unfold completely and now this time, we're going to do the hot dog fold, which instead of folding the short edges, we're gonna fold the long edges. And so it's folding long ways, so it looks long like a hot dog bun. And then I'm gonna press and crease with my hands to make sure it's all nice and smooth, okay? And then when you lift up your paper, I'm gonna pinch on each side, and when I push, do you see there's a diamond shape that starts to happen? Well, we want these corners to come together and touch. So ready? Keep pushing, pushing, pushing until your diamond closes and those two corners touch, okay? Then I'm gonna grab this page and this page in my other hand, and we're gonna press it flat. Okay. 
Now for our final step. We're going to do one more hamburger fold to close the book. So the two short ends, they come to meet. It's just like closing an actual book. And then I'm gonna crease the edge. And there we go. We made a whole book with just one piece of paper. Now you can fill your book with anything you'd like. But if you want some ideas, watch my next videos and you'll see how we're going to use some markers or other drawing materials to fill up our books. Have fun!